guys, so I have a story to tell you. Yes, yes, yes I do. Probably one of the most awkward things that has ever happened to me in my entire life, ever. Ever. This did happen to me. This is real. So I went to go see a movie. Yeah, midnight showing. I saw a midnight showing of a movie. I got there early, 60 minutes early to get a sweet seat. <laughs> I wanted a sweet seat. And the sweet seats are like in the middle. Everything in the middle. Oh, everything in the middle. Anything on the outside is a salty sweet seat. You know, you, you like it, but you don't like it. It's a good bad mixture. And then you got the vegetable seats, which are like two inches away from the screen. Why do we even have a row that is two inches away from like a friggin' Like nobody just walks into the movie theater and just wants a vegetable seat. Honey, honey, look at these two rows up in the front. Nobody's there. Nobody's, let's, let's partake in that. Let's sit in the middle of the vegetable seats. That's a broccoli seat. And I like broccoli. I'm a, I'm a fan of broccoli. Me and broccoli are like Riggs and Murtaugh from Lethal Weapon. We are like, a part, we're partners. You know, every time a normal person sits in a seat, they're like, whoa, this is a sweet seat. I sit down and like, whoa, broccoli. I thoroughly doubt that there is somebody out there like that. And if there is, oh. So I was sitting in my seat. And I look to my left and I realize I'm in a bad situation. I had two empty seats right next to me. Two. Two. That's bad. That is bad news iguanas. Because you two empty seats means those are open. Okay, nobody goes to the movie by themselves at a midnight showing. That's a rare that's rare. That's rare. That's super rare. They used to go with a two-person thing, too. Because I had a two-seat thing in the sweet seats, anybody with a sweet eye will see those. What? Look at those. Look at those sweet seats. We're sitting there, beefcake huns, beefy cake huns. We are sitting there. Just what happens that up the stairs came a mom and her son and she saw my seats. There's nothing I could do. There was nothing I could do. As soon as you lock eyes with somebody that is looking at your seats, you're done. You're finished. And the real sucky thing, it's, it's, like, the, it's like the warm weather now, okay? I had no jacket, I had no paraphernalia that I could invent my invisible wall guy. You know, in my invisible movie barrier guy. I had nothing. Usually, I make up a guy called Doug Vinny. And when people come and ask me, hey, is anybody sitting in, in, the, in that seat right there? I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, somebody is, I'm sorry. Uh, my, my, my friend Doug Vinny, my friend Doug Vinny is sitting in, man, you should have saw it. Some guy try, came over and started whipping him. And, like he pulled out his keys and started whipping. Doug Vinny, he had these nachos. The nachos were flying everywhere. Uneatable nachos. Nobody could eat those. Not even Doug Vinny. And Doug Vinny will be the first person to uneat an uneatable nacho. I don't know where he went, but the, the guy whipped him with his keys really hard. There was like blood. There was blood. It was oozing in the nacho. The nachos were so uneatable. There was there was cheese. Hit that kid right there. You see a little, there's a little bit of cheese on the back of his head because the person keeps whipping. He's whipping, whipping with these keys. And they were like Honda keys, like Volkswagen keys. So the thing whip, the little key came out. It was like a, like the unfoldable key. The metal thing. Not one person could eat a nacho. It was like his life savings. He couldn't eat the nachos anymore. And Doug, Doug Vinny was, he had to go. He had to go to get new nachos. He, that's, yeah, that's usually my backstory for to, to fend off people that want my, my barrier seat. Mm, psh, psh. And so she comes down, sits right next to me. Right now, right next to me, okay? No regard for the movie barrier. This is an unspoken rule for years. Then she picks up my drink out of the cup holder and looks at me and says, is this yours? That's mine. Like, excuse me, that's mine. That's, a, that's, that's, that's mine. And then she hands it to me. Like, what? What is going? And what she did next was the icing, was the icing on my uncomfortably made awkward stranger made cupcake. She brought the armrest dividing me and her up. She brought that crap up. No qualms about it. She brought it up. She made two dividing chairs into a freaking couch. We're watching the movie together now. We're watching it together. It doesn't make any sense. It's just free. I like it. Oh, this bitch brought the crap up. For all we know, this lady could have murdered somebody. This could be a death plan. 
the only the only way I can get you guys to understand what went down, to, com to completely get the gist of it, the feeling, the emotion behind what went down, is you guys are just gonna have to see a reenactment. Is this yours? What? What? Wow, 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 what? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, th thanks. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Hey! Hey! Yep. Hey! 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 Do you like my lip spread? Oh dear. Uh, hey! Hey. Do you like my lip spread? <sighs> I got the idea from Vanity Fair. What, was that the the Dark Knight edition of, of Vanity Fair? Because they... <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey there, Jibzit Muffins! Hey there, Jibbit Muffins. It's like Ronald McDonald got killed. <laughs> <laughs> hey! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs>